Now in this video I'm going to show you how to replace a bad cartridge chip contact spring. If you ever get this message, warning, cannot recognize the following cartridge or cartridges. That can be a couple things. It can be a bad cartridge, bad cartridge chip, an empty cartridge. It's just a bad cartridge. But sometimes after you repeatedly put in one cartridge after another, you get the same message. Well, then it's more likely it's going to be one of these bad contact springs. I'm going to show you how to replace one. Now, we have them on our website so you can purchase them. But they fit most of the Epsons. So I'm going to bring the cartridges over, and then I'm going to show you the spring. There, it's just, and it's all the same on most of the models I'm going to be listing. They come out, they're very easy to take them out. You don't have to take nothing apart. What you have to do is take the cartridges out, though. These are Epson cartridges. And then we're going to show you how to replace that spring. Now, once it's over, you'll unplug the printer. I'll reach behind and I'll unplug it. Okay, now, the yellow one may be damaged. So, I'm going to pull it out to look at it. You can see the spring is slightly bent, and one is missing. Same thing with this. There's one missing off of there. And that's why you get, cannot recognize the cartridge. One of these springs here, I need a little screwdriver to do it. Now, I already replaced the spring, but I'm going to take it out again so I can show you how to put it in. I already plate replaced these. But you want to get right underneath it. With the little, you need a little thin screwdriver. You're going to get right underneath it, and you're going to kind of wedge it up. It's going to wedge it up here, and we'll be able to take it out. So you want to get right in here. See it? It's already going to start to move. Watch. There. I already did it. Now I'll be able to lift up carefully and take it out. Now it's damaged. You don't have to be so careful. But put in uh, the new one you want to be careful. Like I said, I've already replaced them because I had actually two bad ones. And I'll tell you how that can happen. It's how you take out the cartridge. Whether it be Epson or any aftermarket. Like a lot of people break it, but then they pull backwards to take it out rather than lift up to take it out. So if you put it this way, you have a good chance to damage it. And I know, I've watched some people do this. They'll click it like this, and then they'll take like this. See, like this, you're going to damage those springs. So you don't want to do that. Take it straight up. Okay, now I'll be able to slide this chip up and out. Okay, now I just, I put the screwdriver right behind it at the very top here just a little bit to help me give it there comes right out now this is a good spring because you can see they're all good and there's the contact board behind now if I was to put it in I'd I'm gonna put it right back in here I'm gonna slide it in now when I get to the bottom I kind of push my thumb against it and then that helps collapse it and it slides right in so you just take your time there that's it how simple it is to replace it. So you're going to check to see if you have a bad one or maybe you have a bad uh, chip, bad cartridge. Chips can be damaged or go bad. Same thing with any aftermarket chip. The advantage is on the aftermarket, most of them you can slide off. I happen to repair this one. It's an older printer. It's the XP410. It's 50. The same um, spring, the chip spring will fit. goes in exactly the same way. And with the video I'm going to go over to the printers that I've tested that it works on. 2540. I'll go over here. Because we have all these test printers. Here's a Workforce 3640. Now you can see this is a little bit easier to get in at. You can get right on in here and pop that up. Now here's an old XP310, same, same thing. 
Now here's a Workforce 3520. One of them on my Workforce 3640. I noticed I had one cartridge that could not be recognized. So I popped it out, put the new spring in there, and now it works. Now I can use it. So you can go on our website. We have them on our website. Fairly simple to put in, and it can save you from buying a new printer. It's in XP410. I'm going to plug it in. I'm going to put a set of cartridges in and show you. Now at least I can get it to recognize. And I have no cartridges in there yet. I'm going to put a set of our um, refillables in there. This might take a second or two. Because it's slowly moving back and forth. Not installed correctly, pressed down well. I don't have any in there. So I'm going to go on this printer and say, OK. There you go. And that'll bring them over so now I can put them in. There you go. Cartridge replacement. And as I'm putting them in on a lot of these Epsons, it'll light up to make sure you have the cartridges in correctly. I want to point this out. You see the color sequence? I have actually put the wrong color in the wrong one and get the same thing. Cannot recognize. So pay close attention to that. Uh, maybe not so much with the Epsons because they are a little different, but a lot of the um, aftermarket refillables, you can actually mix them up. So you want to pay close attention to that. In, in, and now you can see that lit up. So then I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of them in. And there again, when I put them in, I put them, and then I push them straight down. Same thing when I take them out. I squeeze straight up. Some printers give you a little bit more room to do that. Some it's a little tighter. But what I want to do is straight down. I usually push right where it says. Push. Push. Okay. Okay, now they're all showing up. Press the OK. I'm sorry, not the OK. Press the start. You gotta press start. There you go. Now let's see if they register. It's gonna check them. There again, there was a bad spring. I actually had two of them. Now here it popped up. It says, Can I recognize the yellow? Well, let's go find out why. Maybe I didn't put it in right. I don't think I put it in right. Let's take it out. See, sometimes when you're snapping them in, there you go. Now I got the yellow. So I didn't have that before. Hit the start again, checking the cartridges. There it goes. Now it's telling me I haven't installed genuine cartridges. That's correct. That is correct. So I'll go OK. It makes you do this. All the Epsons make you do this. And of course I'm going to say yes, I want to use them. There it is. Now let's go over. Set up. OK. Let's take a look at the ink levels. There you go, there's my ink holes. So now I'm back working again. So I replaced this little springboard or spring. It's like little springs here. So now I just replaced the contact spring for the chip. Didn't have to take anything apart. So you can go to our website and you can buy these if you're having a problem.